the year 6 reveal just happened and we got a look at the roadmap, a rework of the battle pass and rank system, and something to do other than being on your phone after dying. Starting in year 6 season 1, uh, what we're going to be doing is having the operator inside of the battle pass as the first reward alongside the hit's exclusive headgear and uniform that usually was in the year pass. Along with that, we're uh, extending the period going from one week of early access to two weeks. Uh, and this two weeks period is going to be tied all of this at the same price uh, for the battle pass. So during year six, we're going to have our new operators, obviously, every season. These new operators, as I said, are going to be in the battle pass. In season one, we'll be going into Argentina. The second half of the year, we'll be visiting Europe. So Croatia in season three, and then visiting Ireland in season four. And in season two, we're really, really excited. We're going in the northern prairies of North America. Our newest operator will be from Nakoda, which are indigenous people from that region. Also, along the year, we'll be shipping our usual map reworks. So in season one, we're going to be starting with border. We want to make it even more competitive than it is today. Season two, uh, after the house rework that we done last year, we want to do another casual rework. What this means is that we're going to be going and heading into favela. In season three, we're going to be trying something different. Instead of having one big map rework, we're going to be doing small reworks on multiple maps. And in season four, we're actually going to go back to our back. As always, we're going to be having our seasonal event every season. Alongside, uh, we're going to have arcade playlist, so small gameplay laboratory. We're going to be trying new things, so look out for those. During the year, we're also going to be bringing core gameplay features and content in the game. We really want to use the test server to iterate on those and once it's ready, ship it on live. Uh, the quality of service that we're bringing to the players is of the utmost importance for us and uh, we really want to keep focusing on this and make improvement into the connectivity and DDoS issues that we had for the past years. We're changing a bit how we are going to uh, use the TS. We're going to push things that are uh, far from over. Uh, and where we need feedbacks as early as possible to adjust things in advance. So it's very possible, for instance, that you see some very big gameplay systems land in the TS, but not come in the live version of the game before at least two more seasons, because we want to take the time to adjust them based on feedbacks. I think we have two major opportunities and way of improvements during the, during the next year. Um, I think the first one is going to be less downtime. And uh, the second aspect would be onboarding. Uh, being more welcoming to new players is also something that uh, we believe is very, very crucial to the future and success uh, of our games. Uh, we want the game to be really nice to play and nice to watch, uh, especially when it comes to downtimes. Uh, when you play the game, I think there are moments where it's really tense and you feel like really, you're really pulled into the action, and that's mostly during the action phase. But during other phases, like the planning phase, the prep phase, or everything that happens after you die during a round, it feels like very often you don't have that much to, not that much that can really influence uh, the outcome of the round. So the general idea is that we want the players to be able to um, have a clearer impact on how the round is going to end. Uh, whether during the planning phase or even during the prep phase and uh, activities after death. Uh, the imbalance in favor of defenders has become uh, an issue. It's really hard to attack in the current metagame. The metagame itself is evolving, but we want to try to attack the issue on a deeper level. And uh, we're going to take the opportunity because we're already working on big gameplay uh, changes, uh, big system changes like uh, the attacker's repeat. And um, we're going to use this opportunity to try to uh, favor attackers a bit more than defenders and rebalance a bit the game so that it feels a bit more fair to play as an attacker. For onboarding, I think the high level objective is that we're never going to lower the ceiling. The game needs to remain as complex and as beautiful as it is today, but we're going to make the floor easier to reach. We need to give better tools for the community to welcome new players, and we need everyone to work towards having a more inclusive uh, community. Uh, I think it's going to be a win for everyone. Currently in Rainbow Six, uh, the onboarding is mostly done by the community and your friend, and we really want to help solo players to get in by themselves. That's why we are creating a cell dedicated to onboarding, and the goal of this cell will be to help those players get in faster. They on the maps, they on the guns, and on the gadget and all the operators that are specific to Rainbow Six. So rank is currently our most competitive aspect of the game that you can play right now, and we really want to improve it. And that's why we are working currently on reworking the ranking system to allow people to really improve season after season and have a better idea of uh, their skill level. 
So matchmaking, it's a tough subject, of course. The goal is to give all the players the match that are the most fair for everybody. And it works quite well, but sadly, a lot of people try to lie to the, to the system, uh, either by creating a new account that we, we call Smurf, or by uh, trying to derank and, and, and fake their, their, their skill level. So we are always trying to do small improvement to the matchmaking system to fight this. It's a, it's a tough battle, but uh, we are improving uh, every season uh, against that. The reputation system is starting to work in the background for a while now. And the first goal of the reputation system is to feedback to the player his uh, behavior inside the game. So to know if you are a toxic or a good player. And depending on your score, you can expect some sanction or reward, of course. The idea with the attacker epic is to allow to each attacker uh, player to change his operator and his loadout as many times he wants uh, during all the preparation phase. They will adapt their uh, strategy according to the information they will gather. And for defenders, designing the, the information becomes uh, more important. So for example, they will have to chase drones or uh, hide some of their operators. The preparation phase will be much more meaningful. Currently, uh, defenders have a better uh, win rate. So with these new tools for attackers, I think this will balance this. And in addition, we should be able uh, to build uh, new operators around this uh, new game flow. So for example, uh, the defenders specialize in designing crucial information. Five seconds before insertion. So the goal here is to keep players interested even after their death. For attack side, you will have full access to your drones that were pre-placed on the map. You can control them and use their abilities. You can use shock dart of uh, Twitch or the laser of Zero. For defense side, it's pretty much the same uh, behavior. You have uh, also full access to your camera's drones and also their abilities. So that means the sonic burns of Echo or the laser of the Maestro 2. Ah! Defenders can felt overlining by the attacker's runs, so we try to counterbalance that by reworking the bulletproof camera. So now the camera can rotate and you can shoot an EMP dart that disable uh, all attacker electronic in world gadgets. So that means you can disable uh, drones, but also air jabs, uh, claymore, etc. So I think we should observe uh, an increase in uh, player activity, less downtime, and uh, the player will have uh, more playtime and fun. We will try to add uh, early version uh, in the test server around year 6 season 2. So we are rethinking how the test server is used. The goal is to add early version to get uh, feedback as soon as, as possible and then iterate on it. So player uh, will have more playtime uh, to be familiar with this uh, huge change.